first and foremost, give it all honor and praise to the God of all our ancient forefathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. I greet you all in the tongue of our ancient forefathers. Shalom Aleichem. Wa alaikum as uh, How's everybody today so far? Good. 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 Excellent. 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 I had to come out and support these brothers, uh, not just because we're Israel, because we have people who belong to the nation of Israel that obviously don't show that. Then you got people that show support just because we belong to the nation. I show support for both nations. First is the of the same people. The second reason is that wherever I go, these brothers are there. So with that being said, I will always support. Uh, this brother has been an inspiration to our community. Uh, we've learned so in so many ways uh, that it's impacting us, and we believe that the unity that is being achieved right now, this generation among different groups of Israelites is just amazing right now. And I'm really, really proud to look in the room and see some familiar faces. And I'm glad that we all here in unity. We all come from different camps, different temples, and we all still face the same God. So with that being said, I said she wanted to everybody. Uh, also, uh, we have an event coming up June 21st at the National Hall of Theater. The event is geared towards empowering our women. When we go into the Tanakh or the Torah, one of the main things that we find is references to empowering agenda, we find so many statements that are empowering to men. We don't find too many statements that are empowering to women. So what myself and a couple of other brothers did was pull out so many passages of the Torah that speaks to the empowerment of women. I don't want to take away from anybody's time, but I will say something really brief. We're told in the Torah that when Eve was brought to Adam, she was to be what the Torah calls an Isaiah Kenegdo, a help me. The word help in Greek or in Hebrew is ezer. So most men look at it and say, you know, well, a woman is inferior, right? Because she's just the help. Because we're going on the English translation. The English translation says that he, or in Hebrew, chawa, shall be a help in English. The Hebrew, the Hebrew says ezer. Ezer is much more than help. Ezer is used in the Torah as a deliverer. In fact, in the book of 1 Samuel, when we defeated the Philistines, Samuel erected a stone, and he called that stone, and then, and then, for the Creator has delivered us from the Philistines. That word, and then, used for women, is the same word used in our Torah for a deliverer. So that makes our women extremely powerful, and we as men need to be mindful of that when we're speaking to our women. That's right, come on. We don't have a nation without women. Come on. It's impossible. You can't have the nation of Israel without our four fathers as well as our four mothers. No, sir. Teach. The creator set up a template for righteousness. He didn't just say, look unto Abraham. He said, look unto Sarah. Mm. We are waiting for Daniel to start. I don't know if you know, we're going to... You want to come up? Okay. 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 Okay.